what's good guys tk here welcome back to the channel in this video i'm going to show you how to create this beautiful birthday fly on like always i'm going to take my time working through step by step and also explain some of the techniques that i'll be using in this tutorial so that you can apply them in your next project if you're new here make sure you subscribe to the channel and like this video as well because that helps youtube to promote this video and it really motivated me so i hope it's something that you want to do so make sure you like it and also subscribe to my channel help me build this community because there are a lot of things that i'm going to share with you and without much i do let's get into it so first thing first what we do is that we create our document by going to file select new and i'll just maintain these settings every day that's what i use most of the time so just copy that and hit create now once you set your canvas what we want to do is to bring in the image so come to your fire explorer or your finder and click and drag this image like that now once you bring it to photoshop i'll expand it a little bit like that and just hit okay now to check everything is okay i will come to my alignment and make sure it is in canvas and i'll just click on this thing to center it very correctly now what i'll do next is that i want to cut out the image from the background so i'll come to the image layer and right click select rasterize and come down to your property panel and just click remove background so because it's a simple image photoshop is just going to cut it very nicely for us so here we go so with this i'll right click and select convert to smart object now what I will do is that I will come to my adjustment layer icon and come to solid color. Now I'm going to pick this color, alright, don't worry I will show you the hair code. So this is the hair code. Copy that and hit OK. Now come back to your layer panel and bring it down beneath the image. Now this one being done, what I want you to do is that convert this one into smart object and come to filter and select filter gallery. Now, when it opens like this, under artistic, okay, select film grain and just maintain the settings, all right, and hit OK. Now, this one being done, the next thing we are going to do is I'm going to duplicate this image. So, click and drag it to the plus icon to duplicate it. Now, what I'll do next is that I'll come to edit and come to transform and flip it horizontal, all right. Now, I'm going to bring this image okay the copy to the down okay so that it will hide there and i'm going to move it okay like this and what i'll do is that i will expand it a little bit like that okay now i'm going to set this one like a background so what i will do is that i'm going to turn the opacity very down okay so i'm going to make it like 58 okay and I'm going to blend it as well. So um, let me see overlay or soft light. I think soft light is okay. So yeah, that's it. So what I'm going to do next is that, what I'm going to do next is that I'm going to try and blend the image with the background. It's not really blending. So what I'll do is that I'll select the image like this. Now i'll come to the color fill which is the background and what i will do is that i'm going to duplicate it so i'll just click and drag it to the plus icon and i've made a copy you can see that right bring it to the top okay and just right click and select create clipping max now i've clipped max it to the image all right so what i'll do next is that i'm going to change the blending mode to soft light like that and come to filter select blur and select average okay now once this one be set what i'll do is that i will double click on this color fill one copy and i'll come to underlying layer hood alt okay and divide these handles and just um stretch them out now whilst you are doing it be checking the image to see whether you are getting the result that you want okay so i think it's good all right so let's click okay and let's check before and after you see this pop it up a little bit so this one being done 
the next thing we're going to do is that i will i'm going to create a new layer like that okay and this layer is going to help me project the text that i will be using so i'll come and select my brush okay and i'll make sure my floor is 100 now what i will do is that i'll make sure my my hardness is also zero because i want a soft round brush now i'm going to paint this color okay so let me select from this swatch and show you the hex code so this is the hex code copy that and hit okay now i'm going to paint it down here like that okay just paint a little now once this one being painted um i'm going to convert it to smart object now i'm converting it to smart object because they will this will help me to um make any changes to any effect that i apply so i'll come to filter and i'll come to blur and i'll select gaussian blur and i'm going to make my radius 100 so make sure you set it to 100 and hit ok now the next thing we are going to do is we are going to bring in this calendar you know i took my time to do this okay so i'm just going to bring in click and drag i don't want the video to be long so i'm not showing you the whole process okay so i'm just going to bring in like this you know the normal way we do things is always writing the date but this time you want to try something different all right so i'll just position this somewhere here and um because it's a small object i can just expand it i mean open it in a different window like this and what i'm going to do is that i'm going to delay some things from it like this rectangle i don't want it i just want it this way all right so with this one being done i'll just save it okay like that and right now i can just close this okay now it is here we know um rectangle okay so what i'll do next is that i'll change the color by going to fx and select color overlay and i'm just going to apply this color okay this is the hair school just copy that and hit okay now let's try and position it somewhere down here with this i'm using my arrow keys okay so you can also do that now i put it here the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to write my happy birthday so it's very simple the font i'm going to use is basement okay so you know basement is my it's one of my favorite font all right so i'll change the color to this color okay please make sure you copy the high school and hit okay now what i'll do is i'll just start typing so um before that let me turn my 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 tracking to zero like that so that they will be together and i'm going to type happy okay happy in small letters with this i'm going to expand it a little bit like that so let me expand it like that good now what i'm going to do is that i'm going to duplicate it so just hold alt okay just hold alt and just duplicate it now i'm going to double click this one to edit the text and just type birthday okay birthday in caps okay so yeah i've typed birthday but because the letter is very poor that's why you can't see but i'm going to correct that so come down here and just increase this okay to whatever you like so i think i'm going to type seven for this good and i'm going to expand it to make it a little bit bigger okay good now i'll select all my text okay and just position it where i want so i want to put it somewhere here now the next thing i'm going to do is that i want to create some contrast between the text okay that's one thing you do to make your work very nice so i'll just bring in a shape but i'll change the color to this color like the color of the background and i'm just going to draw a shape like that okay so this one being then i'm going to make sure that the happy is on top of the shape like that so that it can serve as a room 
you know you know what i mean yeah so i'm going to set it like that and make sure that i group the happy and the shape together like that and i'll make sure i bring them closer to the happy birthday good so let me try and align them very well so i'll just change this one to selection so that i can just align them very well now with this one done the next thing i'm going to do is that i'm going to um add some little text okay so um let's write i mean here you can write anything that you want but i'm not going to write anything though you can write like a wish or something like that but i'm not going to write anything so with this one i'm going to increase this to 2300 okay 2300 and i'm going to hold shift and just rotate it now it is out of my canvas but don't worry i'm going to bring it inside my canvas like that and just bring it down like that okay so you know we are doing good so now let's come back to the the calendar okay we need to tell the exactly day is celebrating their birthday so maybe you can choose anything with this one i'll select ellipse 2 and make sure i have a stroke like that but i have no fill so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to zoom in like that and make a circle so like maybe the day is 19 of uh 19 of march 2025 so what i'll do is that i'll just make a circle like that okay so just make a circle and use your arrow keys to just put it right here okay so good i think that that's really nice let's try adjust things like that good so this is very easy and simple you know i think this is better than i mean writing the uh, writing the dates i mean that one too is good but you know you just have to add your own style so that you can make things stand up you know so we are almost done the last thing we are going to do is we are just going to write some text and that one could be um a wish or something all right so let's change the color and this is the color all right so copy it and hit okay now what we are going to do is that we are going to create um a text box so click and drag to create a text box like this and you know check this settings okay so make sure your your um your tracking is zero like that and also correct your leading okay so um let me say five would do let me type five and see good so um we are going to change this font this is too bold so remember whenever you are writing the body text use light font like not really light but something readable right so we are going to use Montserrat but we are not going to use black let's choose regular i think regular will do or maybe let's select medium good so with this we can just position it somewhere here i think this is a lot of text so we can just reduce it okay so um, maybe just write something small maybe this one will work like that and just to do something i mean it's not really important but some way somehow it just add beauty to the work that's what sometimes we do right sometimes you just do something so i'll come to my pen two like this now select the pen two okay and make sure you don't have any flow and this is in shape all right no path shape okay now what i'm going to do is that i'm just going to click on one spot hold shift so that i have a straight line click on another another spot and just come here and just click on another spot um like this good no that was a mistake so um let's continue click on another spot like that good and just click back our move to and now we've created something like this so this is pretty much it i hope you enjoyed the video 
like i said if you enjoyed it make sure you like it and also subscribe to the channel for i mean to encourage me to do more be part of this community because there are a lot of things that we are going to learn there are a lot of works that we are going to do over here thank you so much for watching and if you want to continue creating then click this video right on your screen see you in the next one bye